Okay, here we go. Um, we're kind of in that last uh, lesson number three of assignment number four. So we're ready to kind of wrap things up here. So what we have, um, we have our basic kind of form that calculated our maximum value. And so along with this, we're actually going to add in uh, a couple more labels and a couple more buttons here uh, to get this going. So I'm going to kind of point you in the right direction. I'm not going to show you all the code that is required for this though. So what I can do here, and I showed you this last time, is if I want, I can just right click and I can copy that and then I can just paste that label. Now obviously I need to rename some properties there because I don't want it to be the same. And so I'm going to just rename this minimum value. And obviously it needs a different label name as well. So I'm going to call it label minimum. Okay, so now we have distinguished that between label maximum and label minimum. And the other label that I just needed to copy there, or sorry, paste, is now I need also a sum value. So over here, I go label sum. And obviously, I'm going to get that, uh, change that to sum to start. So fairly straightforward um, where we're going with this. Uh, then if I want to do the same thing to the um, button, I can. Now, I wouldn't really necessarily recommend that with a button because then I'm going to end up uh, getting the event handlers and those kind of things. So let's just go and add a new button here. This is, my buttons don't have much style to them, so it's not going to be very complicated. So with this button, obviously, I want to name that button something like button min, sure. And then down here, I want to say what it says in the PowerPoint, get min exclamation mark. Okay, and so then we have that button set up. Now within there, I can do another button as well. Um, and call this one uh, sum or get sum. I'm not sure if that's what I had in the PowerPoint. Uh, let's just take get sum. It was so. Let's take a look at that. So get sum text. We're gonna call get sum exclamation exclamation mark button sum. And so we should be good to go there now, obviously, to get event handlers for each of these couple ways we can do that. We've done that before. Click here in that space there. You can create an event handler for button minimum. The other method of doing that um, is right here if I just click right on the button. So we have our two event handlers. We have one for button minimum. We have one for button sum. And then uh, it's a good idea that we could start commenting these two and so I can put here mm, event handler for button minimum uh, and then the same thing here event handler for button sum I could up here put the opposite for that. So anyways, we have our stuff in place there. We have event handlers there. Now, obviously, we can duplicate what we have within uh, these text boxes um, here. Um, if I was to do this again, I'd probably move some of this getting stuff. Uh, where I'm getting that info from those text boxes somewhere else. Maybe that happening right when the text box changes value or something. But that section of code can be just copied and pasted now. Like I said, that's not ideal. Uh, I might want to put this in a method within the form to get text boxes or something. But for the sake of this lesson, let's just put that inside there. And then you can worry about adding the last bit of code there in terms of your to-do here is to do You're going to need to add um, um, minimum. Well, you're going to have to instantiate a class, calculate a class, and 
and then the other to do that you can copy from above and then you're also going to need to to do you are going to need to access a member or sorry the minimum method of the calculator class that you're going to create in a minute and so you're going to have to do something very similar to the sum so I'm just going to copy and paste this like I said I probably would say have that inside its own method as well but Ooh, that's okay mm. <laughs> box numbers does not exist in the current context not sure where that's coming from here did I cut? must have cut weird ok I should get rid of that problem that I had there ok so anyway so we have all that starting stuff point for you um, with this one you're going to instant a calculator class this one you're going to get to do access the sum method so if you look at your code what you're really and I know I'm scrolling fairly quickly we have what we did earlier our maximum and you can use this as a template it's going to be the same except obviously rather than max here you're going to have minimum you're going to create a method that's minimum and use that down here same thing for sum you're going to have a, a method within the calculator that's going to be um, calculating your sum so if you go back here now to do the minimum this is going to be very easy I'm just going to copy and paste this change this to min Okay, change that max to a word called min, so rename that method. And then from here, okay, I don't want to find out if numbers i is greater than maximum. I want to find out if it's less than. Okay, and So we want to find the least amount of number. Now, we may have to do something a little bit different uh, with kind of starting that maximum number there at zero. Maybe you want to put that the other way was kind of a little bit of a playing around with that but um, maybe you don't even need to declare that maximum there but you can do the same kind of thing you want to find out if it's greater or less than your maximum and then the last thing you want to do so you'll do that you do a minimum method down here and then the last thing you want to do is you want to do some kind of sum here as well and so the sum should be an easier function in a way you're just going to add all the numbers so you're just going to add number one to number three and that's going to be easy and if you don't need to get necessarily even get length you can just accumulate those if you want um, but to do the sum that should be fairly straightforward and so once those are added and you've kind of linked to them here this project should be done and you should be done so um, that's going to conclude our structured programming um, module. Um, obviously if you need help you can send me an email um, and if you um, have any questions I can maybe help you personally too um, but it's been good to do. One thing that uh, I think that we kind of we didn't talk a lot about the .NET framework itself um, so that might be something you want to look into um, accessing different things within the .NET framework. We also didn't talk about um, storage of any kind of memory or anything like that or persistent memory so those are things you might want to look into in future uh, work with programming um, and there's just a lot more things that you could go into but uh, this should give you a base um, uh, nice thing about C sharp is it's very very similar to Java once you learn one C based language you're gonna be able to learn a lot of C based languages so um, hopefully you learn something from this and good luck on that final project Okay, as I was kind of going through just kind of completing this, um, I thought, you know what, there's going to be this one gotcha on, on minimum that I thought I'd come back and kind of give you a little tip there for that minimum portion. So when I copy and paste that method, um, and you can see obviously it was max, so I want to reset that minimum. Um, you're going to find that there's, a, and rename this maximum here. 
minimum. So now originally I'd set that value and it shows me all those places. Um, originally I set the value to zero and that's just not going to work um, for this because if I set that value to minimum or zero to minimum and I'm, I'm it's no matter what these numbers are unless they're less than zero it's not gonna it's not gonna pick that up so I was clear that well you probably need to change this symbol to if numbers is greater than right or less than minimum then minimum equals numbers right um, so but I can't have this set to zero so let's just set that to the first number as it comes in just go numbers and zero and we'll set it to that first number and then it, if there's one that's lower than that it'll it'll find it and so you're gonna have to do that slight little modification there that I never thought about um, it's probably gonna get some of you guys uh, give you some problem but you can see other than that this whole method should be just a duplication now the last little tip here before I go um, when you you can do the same thing here you can copy and paste for that sum method but then you want to get rid of the guts pretty well. Okay, so the in, inside of here, you're not going to need to do much more than um, if you wanted to loop through and sum them, then that would be fine. That's probably the most elegant way, but probably you want to do something along the lines of sum, change all the minimum to sum values here. Um, sum. This one you do want to set to zero. Zero, and then you want to go. You don't want. You don't need even an if statement here. You probably just need to say sum equals numbers i equals sum plus numbers i, and so it's just going to keep adding as they go through, and then we should have a functional. Um, it should just add that up. You could modify it, simplify this, even going numbers one, numbers two, and just add them. Don't even have to loop if you don't want. Um, but if you want to do the sum with looping, that's the way you would go about it. Just simple arithmetic. Okay, that's the last hint I think I need to give. Uh, I should be able to complete this project. I didn't talk about how you need to kind of do. Didn't give you, I didn't give you this last little bit of kind of implementing that, but you should be able to figure that out based on the other code. Okay, hopefully you have this stuff, and uh, hopefully you learned a bit. See you next time. Bye. Just a quick showing of the end product. It does work, just uh, make sure that uh, check all your code, make sure everything's, your labels and everything's adjusted. Uh, just a quick show of how it works. That's it.